Hey guys, Brian Tech here, coming up with a new video. This method, we're going to be doing dailies. There's really no cash per hour, but it's actually cash per day. This is meant toward players who doesn't play RuneScape a lot, and they only play for like 20 minutes. So, this, you can make up to 650k cash per day, and for 30 minutes of work, maybe, or less. And let's get on with the guy. I forgot to mention. You need some starting cash, preferably like 3 mil or less is fine. And let's go down with the guy. Um, you're gonna need one, some starting cash. I have 3 mil at the moment for my starting cash. Now the first method we're gonna be doing is uh, getting chocolate and turning it into chocolate powder. Now you might want to do recipe for disaster for this, but if you finish the whole thing like I did, you could buy up to 300. Now I already tried this method a little bit today just to see if it's plausible and I could say yes and my friend the box RS suggested it to me so shout out to him. Now what you're gonna want to do is buy the food from the chest. As you can see they're only 20 GP. Now let's just turn it into uh, chocolate dust and I'm gonna resume after that finish this inventory let's just check how much money we made as you can see we made a profit of 160 coins roughly now I can do up to 300 so I can make 50k just for 10 minutes work maybe less so let's get on with the guy it's finished an inventory now uh, let's check how much money we made so this thing open. all right we made around 56k but like I said we bought the chocolate so we made a profit of 50k in almost 10 minutes maybe give a give or take a few minutes so this is really good if you just want to do something really short and you don't have a lot of time to play RS and make some money so let's get on with it guys for the next method we're gonna be doing farm runs now if you have access to all five of these patches great if you don't that's still alright you're only gonna be making like a 20k loss you can make up to 100k per farm run. If you don't have all five of them, you can make up to 80k cash per hour. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go get five super compost. Now, I already have some here, so that's good for me. And recommended is some magic secateurs, or is what, however you wanna pronounce it. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is just go pick it up, like so. Wow, this is pretty good. And then what you're going to want to do is put the super compost over the patch and put the seed on it like that. And then you, you want to go to the next one and repeat and recycle process until you reach all five of them. And I'll be right back as soon as you finish. I finish. And let's get on with the guy. Guys, I just finished my uh, farm run. Now let's go check how much money we made. As you can see, we made 103k. And that only took about 5 minutes. Now you can do this every 70 minutes if I'm correct. And this makes it a good money making method. 
Also, if you use other seeds, you might be able to make more money, but as you can see, my farming run, I mean my farm, it, farming is only 66, and I didn't go to the grain exchange to go buy some more seeds. These were the only seeds I had, and this makes it a good money making method. This money next daily, what you're gonna wanna do is go run down and buy some battle staffs from the Zeke person. Now you're gonna want a Varrock armor. I only have one, so I can only buy like seven or eight. But if you have Varrock armor three or higher, you can buy 64 or maybe more, or up to 108 maybe. Now let's go. Naf, let's go get some battle staffs. Oh, 16, never mind. As you can see, it's my bad. Let's buy it. As you, as you can see, it is 128k. So you make a pr overall profit and if you do Brock, Brock Diaries 3 or 4, you can have up to 64 or more. So this makes it really good money making method just to do daily. I forgot to mention that each battle staff you get, you make a thousand coins profit. So if you have like 64 or more, you can make up to 64k cash in just 5 seconds or maybe more. I also forgot that you can also buy a pot of flour. And you can make almost 100 GP profit on each one. Let's bank it quickly. Yeah, just do this like so. And remember, you need the recipe for disaster quest to do this. And you can make up to 100 GP profit per pot of flour. This method is going to involve going to get buckets of sand in. Uh, you nil. Now I already did the quest hand in the sand so I get already a bucket of 64 per day from what's his name? Uh, Bert. As you can see I'm about to get it. See I got 64 sand buckets of sand in the bank right now. Now what you can do is just go collect as much as sand as you can and you get really good money. I figured out it was 84 buckets of sand. Now that was just five seconds of work and let's see how much we made. And we made 18k no 19k roughly. That was just five seconds of work and you can do this every day if you did the quest hand in the sand. Alright guys for the next for this next method we're gonna be doing uh, the dailies, uh, the Wicked Hood dailies. Now, it's recommended that you fill up your uh, inventory with pure essence and if you have pouches, feel free to use it because it's gonna increase your cash per hour. Now, what you wanna do is go activate the Wicked Hood and use the teleports. At the, at the, at the moment, Cosmic Runes have the best profit per uh, uh, essence, so we're gonna go and use this. And by the way, the Wicked Hood acts like a talisman, so you don't have to like do it. All right, what you're gonna want to do is use a pure essence. I mean, craft rune on the altar, and then just empty the pouches. Use it, and then activate your Wicked Hood, and take out the essences, and then just go craft it like so. Now. It gives you a hundred every single day, so this makes it a good daily, and it only takes around one minute to two minutes to do. So this makes it a, a good daily to do every day. All right, guys, I finished this inventory. Let's check how much it took. I mean, how much money we made. As you can see, we made twenty-eight k. So that's pretty good for a daily. And you can do this every day and it only takes one minute on average. Alright guys, I just finished this uh, little daily trip. This took me around 11 to 12 minutes. Now let's see how much profit we made. Let's put these in. As you can see, we made a total profit of 340k. Now, 
if you have a high rune crafting you might be able to make more so you might be able to add an extra 10k also these aren't even the best herbs to, I mean yeah these aren't even the best herbs to do these are the only ones I had in my bank and I didn't feel like buying it so you can make up to 110k profit on these herbs and plus if you have a juju farming pot you can make up to 150k cash per hour just from herbs also I also forgot that the battle staff if you have a hive rock armor you can make up you can get up to 108 to make it 108k profit or 64 if you have rock armor 3 uh, I also forgot to mention that there are uh, you can collect feathers and runes from the shops and sell from a grain exchange for a uh, good profit that can add an extra 100k so this makes it around 450k to 500k cash per hour just for 10 20 minutes work maybe more but you know this makes it a good money making method if you don't get on runescape a lot all right guys i'd like to thank you guys for watching my video drop a like if you enjoyed this subscribe because there will be more future videos coming out soon and comment to see what can what i could do better and leave some constructive criticism for me if you can also I'm running dry on money making guides right now because of these bots right here you know they the food bats I just heard that they got nerfed and the grout worms when I made the video they weren't nerfed but apparently now they are leave a, leave a comment on what videos you'd like me to make next and at the moment I'm running low on money making ideas and my well is getting dry so leave a comment on what video series I'm, I should make next I already have a series thought of, but leave a comment. Other than that, have a good day.